Marcos Maidana's calling cards are his toughness and his power. If hurt, he invariably beats the eight count and comes back meaner and more determined than ever. He'll happily eat three punches to land one of his own. In other words, he's never been known as a highly skilled fighter. Now, however, he is a testament to the importance of craft in boxing. Two years ago, Maidana began training under Robert Garcia, and he's only gotten better since, winning four consecutive fights at his highest ever weight class, three of those by knockout. Garcia hasn't taken away the brawler's spirit that makes Maidana such a special fighter, but rather equipped him with additional tools to make him more potent than ever. The new Marcos Maidana is what you get when violence meets science. This is Marcos Maidana, orchestrated violence. One of the most notable changes between the new Maidana and the old is stance. Since training under Garcia, Maidana positions his feet much more intelligently than ever before. Notice here how Maidana's left foot is closer to Adrian Broner than his head. This allows him to test the distance between himself and his opponent without having to be hit in the face. These days, rather than charging in with right hand after right hand, Maidana gauges the distance, feinting, changing levels, and taking his head offline. With this jab to the body, you can see how he not only takes his head further offline, but keeps most of his weight on the back foot, preventing his head from falling towards the Broner. These changes in stance grant Maidana something that every pressure fighter should have, which is defense while moving forward. In the following sequence, watch as Maidana evades all the attacks of Josecito Lopez while closing the distance and throwing punches of his own. Lopez times his first jab well and manages to touch Maidana while his head is centered. Maidana slips to his right to avoid the next jab, but he doesn't get stuck in place while moving his head. He takes a crucial step forward with his left foot to keep Lopez in his sights. This next jab, Maidana slips to the left, once again taking a step forward, putting himself right in range for his favorite cross counter, which lands clean on Lopez's cheek. Now again, keep an eye on Maidana's feet. His head movement never sticks him in one place or puts him out of position to punch. Of course, Garcia's most notable influence on Maidana's style is in his use of the jab. Against Devin Alexander, Maidana's last fight without Garcia in his corner, he threw 91 jabs over 10 rounds and lost the fight. Half a year later, he was throwing a total of 240 jabs against Jesus Sotokaras before knocking him out in the 8th round. Maidana uses the jab to find weaknesses and openings in his opponent's defenses, and to create them. If you react to his jab, he'll find a way to punish you for it. Here, he gives Josecito Lopez a feint. Having revealed nothing useful with that feint, he goes for the jab next. Lopez raises his left hand high as if expecting a right hand. Keep that in mind for later. As they near the corner, Maidana spots Lopez starting to circle to his left, anticipates his jab, and slips it, and connects with a cross counter, thrown wide so that Lopez runs into it as he circles out. Now the whole sequence again. And from another angle, you can really see how the trajectory of Maidana's punch is designed to catch Lopez as he moves away. Now, Maidana's first knockdown of Adrian Broner, all set up by the jab. This body jab doesn't land because Broner parries it with his right hand. But that's what Maidana wants. Now, he's found an opening. Maidana follows up with a left hook, a long swinging punch that looks deceptively like a jab to the body. Broner does try to parry the jab, but manages to avoid the hook by leaning just out of range.
Not easily deterred, Maidana goes for the punch again, and once again you can see Broner lower his right hand in an attempt to parry what he thinks is a jab. Only this time, the ropes prevent his escape. Now again. From this angle, you can see how much Maidana's hook looks like a jab to the body. It's not a textbook punch, but it works well for his style. Almost as if Robert Garcia saw him throwing it in training and devised a way for him to set it up. That knockdown of Broner is a perfect example of one of Maidana's greatest traits, something that he possessed even before coming under Garcia's tutelage. That is, his ability to lock onto a weakness in the opponent's game and press the attack. This was most notable against Victor Ortiz, who Maidana TKO'd despite being knocked down three times himself in the fight. Max Kellerman sums up his mentality perfectly. Maidana figured out he can't miss with the right hand and he won't stop throwing it. Ortiz is in big trouble. And that phrasing really is perfect. Maidana won't stop throwing it if it works. He's incredibly resilient, and he's smart too. If you continually present an opening, Marcos Maidana will punish you for it. In the sixth round of his fight with Josecito Lopez, Maidana discovered that a right hand to the body made the perfect setup for a right hand upstairs. Maidana leads with the jab and plans his next attack based on information gathered earlier in the fight. Remember that high left hand of Lopez from before? Well, Lopez is still doing it, so Maidana shows him his right hand and goes under his elbow to the body. Never one to give his opponents time to think, Madonna attacks again, leading with the jab and showing the right hand. But this time, Lopez doesn't know what to do with his guard and exposes his left temple. A few seconds later, Madonna tries again. He actually tries that tricky left hook first, but Lopez brings his hand back in time. Another jab, and that left hand goes up again, so Maidana attacks the body again. This time Lopez seems to sense the setup and tries to jab Maidana to keep him off. But no matter, Maidana throws his intended right hand anyway, slipping Lopez's jab to the inside. Now watch it one more time from another angle. Right hand to the body, cross counter over the top. That's orchestrated violence. Don't forget to like this video on YouTube, and for more content like this, subscribe to MMANation.com. Also, go to BloodyElbow.com and BadLeftHook.com for more analysis, MMA, and boxing coverage.